Hey, is the Apostle Paul known in your church? That's the question I got for you today. Galatians 1 verse 22 says this, and was unknown by face unto the churches of Judea, which were in Christ. So this is Paul referring kind of to himself that he was unknown by face. So in other words, people knew of Paul, but they didn't recognize what he looked like at this point. It was early on in his ministry. So I think that sadly, this is largely true today. This is I'm, I'm going to kind of make a metaphor out of this. I think that people know who Paul is. They're, they recognize the, the title of the Apostle Paul. They recognize that Paul was an apostle, that kind of thing. But I think they don't really recognize. They don't know Paul. And so I'm going to detail some things here to argue why I'm saying what I'm saying. So here's some examples of things that Christians either do not understand or are offended by that are from the Apostle Paul. So let's just go through them. And by the way, I'm just going to read some things. I'm going to read I'm going to read some ideas that are based upon scripture. I'm not going to read all the scriptures, but all the scriptures are in the notes. Okay? So I don't really like just talking off the top of my head about things without giving it scripture, but I'm not going to go into the scripture in detail in this video just to keep the video shorter, but again, all the all the verses are in the notes. So go check that out. Okay. Let's just get into it. Things that Christians either don't understand or that they're offended by that are from the Apostle Paul. Paul never taught that we need to be born again. That's a that's a hot point. And I don't have a verse for this because Paul never even mentions the phrase born again. He doesn't even allude to it in, in like so many words. So the only thing I have to say here is that search, search it for yourself. Go prove if what I'm saying to you is true. Just do a simple Bible search online, you know, or if you use some kind of software or whatever it is, and just search born again. And you'll see Paul never talked about it. What he did talk about was being quickened. And quickened is an entirely different thing. It, it means to be made alive. Being born again is a, a different function than being made alive. Okay. Enough on that. That's like a whole other study in itself, which I plan to do at some point. Paul taught that there was only one baptism for those that have trusted Christ. Paul taught that speaking in tongues would cease. Paul taught that women should not speak in tongues in church. Paul taught dispensations. Hey, I get called names because of my focus on dispensational teaching. I get called, oh, you're a dispensationalist. Oh, you're, you know, and people are, you know, approach me in a derogatory way because I talk about dispensations. But I got a thing for you. The word dispensations in the Bible four times. So you got to deal with that. You can't just ignore it and say, oh, dispensations. Okay, Paul taught dispensations. That bothers people. Paul taught that he is the minister of the dispensation we live in. It's called the dispensation of the grace of God. People talk about grace a lot, but they don't necessarily like to talk about the fact that Paul was the minister of or is the minister of this dispensation. Paul taught that the word of truth must be rightly divided. This is 2 Timothy 2.15. Go look it up. It's in the notes. Paul did not make a living from the money church members gave. Oh, my I'm thinking a lot of pastors around the world, their hair just lit on fire when I said that. Paul set an example. And I'm not saying he never took money from anybody. Okay, that's ridiculous. What I'm saying is he did not make a living from the money that the churches that he supported and, and you know prayed for and established and all those kinds of things. He didn't take money from them. That's not how he made his living. Do you know how Paul made his living? The guy worked with his hands. He made tents. He was a tent maker. It's that simple. And not only was he able to support himself from his tent making efforts, but he was able to support others. You know, specifically the reference, the, the, the you know, the, the suggestion in the, in the scriptures that, you know, when he would go on these on these missionary trips, as we like to call it, you know, I don't think he's, he called it a missionary trip. He was just doing the Lord's work, but he had other men with him and he supported them as well through his tent making skills. Okay, Paul had skills. Paul thought that he was the only apostle given to everyone that wasn't a Jew. In other words, he was the apostle to the Gentiles. 
Paul taught that he was given all the mysteries of Christ. This is why if you don't if you don't know Paul face to face, you will be very underserved by what New Testament Christianity is supposed to be about. That's why Paul, I should have put it in this note, but or maybe I did. We'll get to it. But Paul is the only apostle that, that said, follow me multiple times, but he said, follow me as I follow Christ. Okay. He's a, he's our example. And this is where, you know, again, people's hair starts on fire because, oh, he didn't say that we were supposed to follow Jesus. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying that Paul gave us the model of how we should follow Jesus. All right. Paul taught many things that the Bible describes as a more excellent way. A more excellent way. So if you're not well acquainted with the Apostle Paul, I would encourage you to fix that as soon as you can. All right. That's all I got for you today. I hope that you, I don't know. I hope I've made you mad. I hope that I said something that you're you're mad about. So let's talk about it. I hope maybe maybe some of this stuff's been an encouragement to you. And maybe you'll share it with somebody that needs some truth. But hey, listen, whatever you're doing in life right now, nothing's more important than reading your Bible. So go get after it. All right. Thanks for being here. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Have a good one.